A level chemistry quick test video on calculations. Because this is the first one of these, I thought we'd start with moles. So there's a couple of moles exercises. This is the first one. So if you want to have a go at this, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. So in all of these, we're going to use the moles equals mass over MR. Remember, mass has got to be in grams. Okay, so the first one, 36 grams of water. So that's 36 over 18, so that's 2 moles of water. Next one, we've got the mass in kilograms. So we've got to put that into grams first. So 25 kilograms is 25,000 grams. Divide that by the MR of ammonia, which is 17. And I've put this to the nearest whole number, so it's 1471 moles of ammonia. So for the third one, there's a couple of traps, I suppose, in this one. We've got the mass in milligrams. And we're told it's elemental iodine. So we're expected to remember that iodine is a diatomic molecule. So I hope you remember to double the MR of iodine. So 50 milligrams is 0 0.05 grams. And the MR of I2 is 253.8. So that comes out at that many moles of I2. And then the final one, we've got to convert the 2 tonnes of copper 2 carbonate into grams. So 2 tonnes is 2 million grams. So 2 times 10 to the 6, divided by the MR of copper carbonate, and that gives us 16194 to the nearest whole number moles of copper carbonate. Okay, so for the last task, we're going to calculate the number of particles present. So again, if you want to have a go, pause the video and then play them when you're ready for the answers. So to work out the number of particles, we need to know how many moles we've got. And then all we do is multiply the moles present by Avogadro's number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23. So the first one, we've got 100 milligrams of carbon. So we're going to turn that into moles. So the moles of carbon is 0.1 grams divided by 12. So that's 8.33 times 10 to the minus 3 moles of carbon. And then to find out how many carbon atoms there are, we multiply by Avogadro's number and we get an answer of 5.02 times 10 to the 21. That's to three significant figures. So for the next one, we're now going to work out how many grams of magnesium would have that many atoms. So we kind of flip the formula around. So the number of moles present is the number of particles divided by Avogadro's number now. So there's actually two moles of magnesium. And then all we do is mass equals moles times MR. So we'll multiply that two by 24.3, and we get 48.6 grams of magnesium. And the final one, how many atoms are there in 15 grams of propane? So it's a bit like the first one, but there's a catch towards the end of this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is work out how many uh, moles of C3H8, how many moles of propane we've got. So that's just mass over MR, 15 over 44. So we've got that many moles of propane. So if we then multiply that by Avogadro's number, we can work out how many molecules of propane we've got. And then we've got to factor in that for each molecule, there are 11 atoms, three carbons, eight hydrogens. So we need to multiply that by 11 now. And to three significant figures, it's 2.26 times 10 to the 24.